Hi everyone, in this guide we are going to see how easy it is to deploy a Hello World smart contract on Flare. First we're going to start by going to dev.flare.network, click on get started building and hello world in your browser. There are three main steps. In the first step we're going to install and configure our MetaMask wallet. In the next step we're going to compile and deploy our smart contract. And lastly we're going to query some functions within that contract. So let's start with step one. Let's install our MetaMask wallet. Click on Add to Chrome, Add Extension. This may take a few seconds and you will see it in the top right corner. And now it's going to ask us to create a new wallet. Let's do that. Give it some password and let's finish the setup process. Okay, now that we are done, you can see our new account has been created over here. So let's navigate back to the developer hub and now we want to add Flare Testnet Custom 2 to our MetaMask uh, wallet. So go to, test, uh, to Custom 2 Explorer, scroll down over here and click the Add Flare Custom 2 button in the bottom left corner. So the chain ID for Custom 2 is 114 and the currency symbol is C2FLR. Click on Approve and then switch to Custom 2. Uh, go back to the Flare Developer Hub and now we're going to acquire some uh, C2FLR Tessens tokens. For that, we can go to the Custom 2 faucet. We now need to paste our wallet address uh, in the box. So let's get back to our wallet, click on Copy Clipboard and paste the address. Click uh, on Request C2FLR and now it says it sent a 100 C2FLR to our address. So let's check our MetaMask wallet. This may take up a few seconds, so just refresh it. Oh, and here we go. Now we have 100 C2FLR in our wallet. We can go back now to the Flare Developer Hub and we are ready to deploy our first smart contract. So just click the Open Contract in the Remix button. Remix is a web IDE for Solidity. Click on hello world.sol in the sidebar. We can see our contract code over here. This is a very simple hello world smart contract. Go to Solidity Complier tab. Make sure under advanced configuration that the EVM version has been set to London, something that's required by Flare. And click on the compile hello world.sol. Uh, once the compilation is done, you will see a green check mark. Now we can deploy our contract. So go to the Deploy and Run Transactions tab and under Environment set that to Inject Provider MetaMask. A window will open on your MetaMask and click on Confirm. And now you can see it says Custom 114 Network. So that is the chain ID of Flare Testnet Custom 2. Now we can get to the actual deployment of the contract. And this contract needs an initial message when deploying it. So we can just type something like Hello Flare and then click on Deploy. This is going to open a window in MetaMask, which will ask us to pay some gas fees, which are extremely small. So click on Confirm and give it a few seconds. And once we see the green check mark, uh, that means that the contract has been deployed. To interact with our deployed contract, go to the Deployed Contract section expand to hello world contract that we deploy and if you want to read the initial message that we send just click on message and it says hello flare if you want to update that message let's write by flare we can just enter that over there here and click on update message so again on metamask is open you click confirm and give it a few seconds to transaction to get confirmed now we can again query message and it now says by Flare. That's it for this video. This was a quick introduction on how easy it is to get started building on Flare. For the next steps, I recommend to read about FTSO v2, which is our enshrined oracle, and start integrating FTSO v2 into your dApps.